Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terra Nova and today I have some explaining to do. <laughs> so I have not been very present on my channel for the last week or so and I really do sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart about that. I was supposed to have this video up a week or so ago. Unfortunately, I got really, really sick. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but I completely lost my voice for three days and I just have been feeling completely, completely miserable. And I finally got to go to the doctor and I got some medicine, so I'm on the uphill swing of things. I'm feeling a little bit better today, so um, that's what happened. When, that's why The Bachelor is going to be starting a little bit late. But I have some things that I want to talk about. Alright, so you probably guessed from the title of this video, but I am going to be revealing our seven female lucky lady contestants for the challenge today. And I wanted to do something cool and fun and special for each one individually, but as I just said, I've been really, really sick lately and I just I didn't have the opportunity to do that. So I'm just going to go through quick and kind of introduce you to each of the Sims and who made them. Um... That being said, I'm going to try my absolute hardest to stick to an uploading schedule starting this week. So this is going up on a Monday. And uh, from now on, I will be doing the Bachelor Challenge on Tuesdays and my Get Together LP on Thursdays. And then Saturdays will remain Animal Crossing and Sundays will remain Disney's Orphanage Challenge. And those are the four for sure um, videos that I'm going to try to do every week now that classes are starting. For me, they start tomorrow, so it's going to be interesting. But um, I will be doing other random videos, some custom content showcases, and some you know Disney's Orphanage cast videos and stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that. But without further ado, let's get into uh, our contestants today. So this is Andy. You've already kind of met him. But, oh my gosh, look at him. He's so handsome. But he, uh, I'm, I'm just going to reveal his, his stuff right now since I can. He has the big happy family aspiration. He's athletic, good, and romantic, which is required for the challenge um, per X urban Sims rules, which I will be following as closely as I can for this challenge. Um, if you don't know, the basic outline for that is that we're going to try to do an elimination every three parts or so. And the first, ap ad, like the first actual part for the Bachelor Challenge, will just be a welcome kind of ceremony party. I don't know. We're just gonna see what interactions kind of come up and see how Andy gets along with the contestants for the first day. Then the second part, we will do a big group outing, and then the third part, we will do. Um, she calls it speed dating, but it's basically going to be Andy is going to go on as many dates as he can throughout the day and kind of build relationships. And then the fourth part will be the first an elimination. And we're just going to take it easy that day, kind of get some last minute words in with Andy, and then see who gets eliminated. And that's basically going to be the structure we follow, group date, speed dating, elimination. And there's going to be some random um, casual kind of laid back days in there as well. But this is Andy. I'm not going to bother too much with his outfits um, because we're going to see those in the uh, challenge. But I have seven ladies that I want to introduce to you today, three of which were made by other people. So I want to have a huge, huge shout out and thank you to those individuals and I'll get to them last. I'm going to save their sims for last, but I unfortunately did have to make four of the sims. So I'm going to start with the ones I made. And I'm going to try to tell you a little bit of the backstory. I tried to stick with um, Sims or like characters so that I wasn't biased when I was making them. But with Shayna, our first contestant here, Shayna Peterson, I don't know. If I was doing, if I was going to make a Sim for someone else's Bachelor Challenge, I would have made her. So this is what Shayna looks like. And she is a musical genius. She's creative, a music lover, and she is good. Basically, her story is that she just got out of a long-term relationship. She was with her partner for eight years, and they started dating in, like, middle school. So they, they really started to grow as people together, and that's why it was so devastating to her when they broke up. So basically, they were just going in different directions in their lives. She really wants to be an elementary music teacher, so that's where her heart lies. And she's trying to 
you know, make her individual or make herself an individual while still looking for that love that she thought that she had all along that she really didn't. So that's Shayna's story. Up next, we have one of my favorite Sims ever, Emma Duvon. So if you don't um, know, way back when my channel first started, um, I attempted to do the clone challenge in The Sims 3. And basically what happened was my file got erased and so I just gave up on it. But Emma is the Sim that I chose to do that challenge with. And this is her all Sims 4 -ified. So I really tried to stick to what her looks and um, traits and stuff that she had in The Sims 3. So she is a renaissance Sim. And she is outgoing, self-assured, and a perfectionist. And her basic, basically her story is... She's actually just gotten out of college, which if you'll remember from my original clone challenge, I was doing university life first and she just graduated and was about to go out and start her life. So this is what happened. She had a falling out with all of her friends that she was living with and she just got out of college and she wants to see if she can find true love because she had a boyfriend back then, but... You know, things don't work out all the time, and as they graduated, they realized that they just weren't right for each other. But anyways, that is why Emma is here. She's ready to find her true love. Alright, so up next, we have something interesting. Um, if you, um, within the last, like, over fall, I think it was, a couple months ago, they had, like, The Bachelor's Island. I don't remember what it was called. But basically, contestants that were on The Bachelor and Bachelorette that didn't, you know, get married in the end, they had a second chance and they all got put on this island together. Uh -huh. And this is where I got my inspiration for this next pair. But there were sisters on the island. One of them was supposed to be there, and the other one just kind of tagged along. So I thought that came up with some really interesting drama. So I brought a pair of twins in for us today. We have Isabel and Annabelle Woods. So these two are characters based off of the twins in Legally Blondes. Um, so they, in the movie, were like just starting high school. I'm going to say they just finished high school. They're ready to go out into the world and kind of just, I don't know, make their mark. See what they're made of. But they still are very, very close as sisters. As you can see, most of their outfits actually match. Um, their first outfits here are a little different. I wanted to keep them a little individualized. But Isabel, often called Izzy, is a party animal. She is outgoing, self-assured, and cheerful. And her sister, Annabelle, or Annie, is a nerd brain. She is cheerful, genius, and a loner. Now... I tried to base these off of their characters in the movie, but if I'm being quite honest, like I haven't seen that movie in years, so I'm just going off of memory here. So if that's not correct, I apologize, but it doesn't really have to be perfect because they are our contestants. So those are the four girls that I made for this challenge. Um, up next, we have we have a special sim. Um, basically, if you don't know, I am engaged to be married this year, and I finally talked to my fiance into helping me out a little bit for my channel. And he made Miss Melody Becker. Now, this is, you have to remember, his first attempt at The Sims 4, and The Sims 4 create a sim, and, or any create a sim. He's never created a sim before, so this is his first sim ever. And she's very, she's pretty in her own way, I would say. Um, she is looking for her soulmate. She is romantic, creative, and ambitious. Now, I do want to say, just to keep things fair, that my fiancé did not know what Andy's traits were or anything. He just knew what was, you know, part for this challenge. So, this is what Melody looks like. And her backstory is that she is quite young. She's, uh, like, mid-college age, and she is, you know, she grew up as a tomboy. She was never really the cheerleader kind of style, but recently she's really tried to kind of embrace her inner girl, or her inner woman, I should say. And this is her, this is her try. So you'll see with some of her outfits, the makeup is a little, a little strange. Um, but I think she looks very nice for her trying to, trying to embrace her womanhood here. 
But anyways, moving on. Our last two sims were actually created by the same person and they were submitted for me. So I want to give a special shout out and thank you to HK Simmer. If you don't know, she is the one who actually suggested that I do the Bachelor Challenge. So it means a lot to me that she was able to submit two sims for me. The first is Felicia Hudson. Look how stylish she looks. Now, I'm going to have to pull up her bio in a second because I want to make sure I get it correct. Um, but Felicia is a friend of the world. She's outgoing. She's a snob. And she is good. And look at her style here. Look at her. All right. So I'm going to go up into the gallery and just take a look at her real quick if I can find her. Where'd she go? I have so much stuff in here. It's not even funny. Um, maybe she's like way down here. What the heck? Oh, there she is. I'm just not looking right. Okay, so basically her backstory is she's 23, and when she was really young, her parents kind of left her. We don't know why, if they abandoned her, if they weren't able to take care of her, but she um, grew up in an orphanage, and she always has a smell on her face, so she's a very happy person inside, and she never really let her family leaving her get to her or dictate how she lived her life, but deep down she does know that she needs someone to love in a family even though she's very happy with how she grew up and her orphanage family so she decided to leave the orphanage and everyone there encouraged her to do so because she wanted to find her true love and possibly through this whole you know experience with the publicity and fame that she would receive she might find her parents as well so that is Felicia's backstory and our final sim um, is actually actually described as a sim self. So this is Bianca Maguire. Look at her smile. Look at her smile. It's so sweet. I love her. I love her. She has such a soft face. But she is a musical genius as well. I didn't really mean to make another sim a musical genius, but that'll be interesting. She is good, a music lover, and creative. Let me just check. All right. They're the exact same. I'm gonna change this. I did not mean to do that. Let's change it right now. So Shayna is going to stay a music lover, but I'm gonna get rid of creative and good. And we will make her an art lover of all forms. And uh, what else? What else should we do? Probably make her family oriented. Yeah, because she loves children and she like works at an elementary school, so that'll work. All right, now they're different people. <laughs> but here we have Bianca Maguire, and I want to say she has a little backstory as well. So we'll just take her up here. She is also 23 year old, 23 years old, and uh, she prides herself in being a plus size singer. So she was very talented growing up, and. She got, she has the most beautiful voice out of anyone in her class, but no one really wanted to be her friend because of how she looked, and they often picked on her, but she didn't give up on her dream to become a singer despite what other people said about her. So as the years passed and she kind of grew up, she, she really only was able to be friends with her family because of how cruel other people could be. So, you know, she's not afraid of what other people think, though, and with her family's encouragement, she signed up for The Bachelor, and if she can't win, you know, the boy's heart, at least she's looking to find a friend out of all of this. So that is Bianca's little backstory here. So there you have it. Those are our seven contestants and our Mr. Andy Wool here. I'm going to make him change as soon as we get out of here. All right, let's go check out our house and I'll show you how I got it too. I just downloaded it off the gallery. Made a couple little changes, but not too many. So hope you forgive me. <laughs> but anyways, so... I think I'm going to try, and if I don't do it in this video, I'll figure it out for the first episode, which will be up tomorrow. But I want to do a preliminary poll to see who your guys' favorite sims are so far. Like, who do you think is going to win it all? Who do you think will steal Andy's heart, not knowing too much about him other than his traits? So let me know. If it's not in the down bar of this video, it'll be in the next one up tomorrow, and I'll, I'll figure something out. I've never done a poll before, but I think it'd be fun to see who's favorite, who's sim is who's who, who your favorite sim is that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> um i honestly couldn't pick um i don't want to be biased or anything i love each and every one of the sims for different reasons um oh everyone's already in the house cool all right so i'm gonna put the walls up and we will just take a quick peek 
at our house. It's a little slow because I just added a ton of sims. Oh, look it. Bianca's over here about to go swimming. Everyone's running. Oh, Shayna's about to go swimming too. Okay. All right, so we've got this beautiful little pool labyrinth area up here. We've got this nice creative little corner with an easel and some books. And we've got some yoga mats over here as well as this nice big... Are these yoga mats? No. No, but I'm going to change those into yoga mats because that's what they're intended to be. <laughs> or are they just beach towels? I don't know. I'm going to make them yoga mats though. Yeah. And we have this awesome hot tub, a little patio. This is what our house looks like. It's beautiful in my opinion. But if we go off to the main floor, we have this nice, beautiful, clean room right here. This will be the rose room where everyone will receive their roses during elimination ceremonies or not, if they are eliminated. Right off the side, we have this bathroom. This uh, little room is for Andy and he is going to be the only one allowed in here. Obviously, he has a double bed, but we've got this nice dining area with the bar, and we've got this cute little kitchen. I love this island, by the way, with a stove in it. I think that's really cool. And I did get um, some appliances. I did get the new movie stuff pack, so we have a popcorn machine. I've never used one yet, but we have also the ice cream machine and this coffee machine. I was going to get an espresso thing, but I forgot. Oh, well. But anyways, going off to this other side, we've got a cute little, you know, TV room, which uh, Felicia's already checking out, so that's cool. And then, ooh, sorry about that, I had a little coughing fit, but uh, over here we have this little closet, looks like. There's a nice mirror, and there's stuff on the wall, but it's secretly an entrance to the basement, which, that's where Andy is. I can't believe he's in there. I really can't. And with such a straight face, like, I don't know what's wrong with him. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but I have a really huge bias and think that he should never step foot in a sauna again. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But down here we have this nice little party area. We've got some instruments and another bar area and this cute little setup over here, which I love. There are so many of these little, like, flirty date buckets in here. It's awesome. But then we have a sauna, we have a nice little massage room, and we've got our little gym over here. See, there's a yoga mat down here. We have another sauna, and a little, like a bathroom, common changing room kind of style thing, because we've got everything else down here. And if we go upstairs, we've got a little computer room. Um, I, I didn't know what to do with this room. It was, I think it was a bedroom, I don't know. I don't know. Emma's Emma's taking advantage of this, though. In The Sims 3, she used to play The Sims all the time when she was supposed to be doing homework for university, so I think that's just... It's it's so funny. Emma! Emma! You make me, you make me miss The Sims 3. <laughs> but anyways, I'll have to get over that. We've got a couple bathrooms, and over here we've got a double bedroom, which I guess the twins have claimed. Or at least Anna has. Annie. Annie and Izzy, yeah, Annabelle Woods, yes, she has claimed this bedroom, apparently, and it's got this cute little balcony such thing off the side as well, and then down the hall we have two more big bedrooms, one with two beds and one with just three, because obviously seven contestants, um, sadly only one will be with us for more than three days, which is, I'm already sad that someone's gonna have to be eliminated. But anyways, that is going to have to wait until tomorrow when we actually get some gameplay in. But everyone seems to be pretty fine, pretty neutral. She's going to go watch TV. How? Annie, how are you already upstairs and your sister's still like, I haven't even made it on the lot yet. I don't know. Really don't know. But whatever. Not my problem, I guess. Um, I think I've blabbered long enough. You'll have to wait for the next part to see any kind of gameplay, and I'm sorry about that. And I really am sorry that this came out later than I intended it to. Yes, Andy seems really upset too. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, please check out the tag um, on the gallery, hashtag TNBachelor, if you are interested in any of the lovely lady contestants that we have down here. I will upload... Um, Andy as well eventually, but there's something I want to happen on our challenge first before I upload him. So that's being 
said, thank you all for watching. Once again, please leave a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. And also leave a comment. Let me know what you think so far. I'm really, really excited for this challenge to start, especially since it's going to be officially starting on my first day back at university for my final semester before I graduate. So this is really, I don't know, this is making me excited for the, the new school year if that makes any sense. But anyways, my name is Terranova, and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye, guys.